Hi, my name is Judy, and I am with distance learning here at Big Sandy Community and Technical College. I'm actually a librarian, and I teach online myself, and in addition to that, I am the chair of the distance learning committee. Remember that I am here as your support. If there is something that you need to do in Blackboard and you don't maybe understand how to accomplish it, all you have to do is let me know. I can speak with you on the phone, we can email back and forth, or in addition to that, I can do training videos for you. This is our Big Sandy One orientation. The information you're looking here is under number three, which is Blackboard Basics. In Blackboard Basics, what I have done for you, hopefully, is to set up an environment where you can begin to learn about the quality assurance rubric process here at Big Sandy Community and Technical College. Every single course must pass through the quality assurance rubric process. I call it QAR <laughs> for short because quality assurance rubric process is kind of a mouthful. In this first video, I actually go over the quality assurance rubric, the QAR. I am going to upload a copy of the QAR here as well. And remember, the Quality Assurance rubric itself is not about content as much as it is about structure. Students need to know that when they log on to a class at Big Sandy Community and Technical College, the first thing they're going to do is go to the Getting Started tab. The Getting Started tab actually gives you, or gives the student, an overview of your course and how to get started and what are they expected to do that first week. That's what they all want to know, is what should I do the first week? So make sure that you work on making that Getting Started button as good as possible. And we'll actually cut down on a lot of questions about your structure if you're pretty clear in the getting started menu area. This is an example of a Blackboard class which has completed the Quality Assurance Rubric Process, QAR. I'm not saying my class is perfect. All I'm saying is it actually meets the Quality Assurance Rubric. You can um, play the video, look through it. As you're getting ready to build your course, if you would like to, to contact me by phone, you can use the telephone number. It's in all three of the videos that you will see here. Plus, I'm going to post it separately as well. Just know that I am here for support for you. You will see me in your class um, occasionally. You will see that I put myself in there as a test student. So I can go into your classes and see how a student sees the class. That way, if I see a problem or an issue, I can let you know before students actually start having problems with it. The other videos that are down here are actually produced by Blackboard. You can go on here, watch these videos. It helps you decide what is your course entry point. And for me, mine is always the announcement. Every time a student logs on to my course, they go to the announcements because that's what I want them to see first. Because I put reminders there about homework. I put reminders there about upcoming projects and things that they need to be working on. So these are here to help you get started in using Blackboard. But again, if you get stuck, or if you just want to um, use me as a sounding board, you can do that. That's what I'm here for. If you have any questions, do not hesitate to contact me.